Kelsey and I started a project called Stay Here With Me, um, and Kelsey articulates, articu articulates what that's about much better than I, but um, so please do, Kelsey, give it a try. Give it a try. Hi! Uh, so we created a website and Facebook and Tumblr um, that's all about highlighting the ways that art keeps us here, and it's also a space where we share stories of trauma and mental illness and all the things that make us want to leave and then the things that make us stay and want to stay. Um, and along with that, like with Andrea's work as a poet and my work as a qualified mental health professional, we've, we've come to understand the power of sharing stories. So we have a section of the website that's all stories that people have sent to us. And we've we found that a lot of people have found acceptance and understanding and just healing in the hearing that someone else has been through what they've been through. So. We're really glad you're here, and we want you to stay here with us. Yes, awesome. So please um, check out this site, and uh, we would love you to share your story with us and so we can share with community and continue to uh, build community that can support each other in, in sticking around and, and wanting to stick around. So this is going to be the, the last poem I read. Thank you so much um, to Laura and everyone who put energy into bringing me here, Lori and Lisa, and um, just this... Let's just thank the state of Iowa because uh, I like Iowa. Um, and, uh, all right. The nutritionist said I should eat root vegetables. Said if I could get down 13 turnips a day, I would be grounded, rooted. Said my head would not keep flying away to where the darkness lives. The psychic told me my heart carries too much weight. So for $20, she'd tell me what to do. I handed the 20, she said, stop worrying, darling, you will find a good man soon. <laughs> the first psychotherapist said, I should spend three hours a day sitting in a dark closet with my eyes closed and my ears plugged. I tried it once, but couldn't stop thinking about how gay it was to be sitting in the closet. <laughs> the yogi told me, to stretch everything but the truth, said to focus on the outbreath, said everyone finds happiness. If they can care more about what they give than what they get, the pharmacist said Kalanapin, Lamictal, Lithium, Xanax, a doctor said an antipsychotic might help me forget what the trauma said. The trauma said, don't write this poem. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear you cry about the grief inside your bones. But my bones said, Tyler Clemente dove into the Hudson River, convinced he was entirely alone. My bones said, write the poem to the lamplight, considering the riverbed, to the chandelier of your faith hanging by a thread, to every day you cannot get out of bed, to the bullseye of your wrist, to anyone who has ever wanted to die. I have been told sometimes the most healing thing we can do is remind ourselves over and over and over, other people feel this too. The tomorrow that has come and gone and it has not gotten better. When you are half finished writing that letter to your mother that says, I swear to God I tried, but when I thought I'd hit bottom, it started hitting back. There is no bruise, like the bruise loneliness kicks into the spine. So let me tell you, I know there are days when it looks like the whole world is dancing in the streets where you break down like the doors of their looted buildings you are not alone and wondering who will be convicted of the crime of insisting you keep loading your grief into the chamber of your shame you are not weak just because your heart feels so heavy i have never met a heavy heart that was in a phone booth with a red cape inside some people will never understand the kind of superpower it takes for some people to just walk outside some days i know my smile looks like a gutter on a falling house but my hands are always holding tight to the ripcord of believing a life can be rich like the soil, can make food of decay, turn wound into highway, pick me up in a truck with that bumper sticker that says it is no measure of good health to be well adjusted to a sick society. I have never trusted anyone with a pulled back bow of my spine the way I trust the ones who come undone at the throat, screaming for their pulse to find a fight to pound. Four nights before Tyler Clemente jumped from the George Washington Bridge, I was sitting in a hotel room in my own town, calculating exactly what I had to swallow to keep a bottle of sleeping pills down 
down. What I know about living is the pain is never just ours. Every time I hurt, I know the wound is an echo, so I keep listening for the moment when the grief becomes a window, when I can see what I couldn't see before through the glass of my most battered dream. I watched a dandelion lose its mind in the wind, and when it did, it scattered a thousand seeds. So the next time I tell you how easily I come out of my skin, don't try to put me back in. Just say, here we are, together at the window, aching for it to all get better, but knowing there is a chance our hearts may have only just skinned their knees, knowing there is a chance the worst day might still be coming. Let me say right now, for the record, I am still going to be here, asking this world to dance, even if it keeps stepping on my holy feet, you. You stay here with me, okay? You stay here with me, raising your bite against the bitter dark, your bright longing, your brilliant fists of loss, friend, if the only thing we have to gain in staying is each other. My God, that is plenty. My God, that is enough. My God, that is so, so much for the light to give. Each of us at each other's backs, whispering over and over and over, live, live, live. Thank you so much, y'all. Have an incredible time at the festival. Thank you for having me.